What's the crack lads? Welcome to V2.5, our first video for V2.5 and we have got our player of the week review. We're going to be taking a look at the Bruyne, Messi, Furahashi and a couple of more boys here as well that are in the worldwide player of the week for April 13th. So this is kicking off the V2.5 content we're going to have on the channel. Lots of videos coming today. I'm going to be doing a huge live stream starting in about an hour depending on when this goes up. 11 a.m. Uh, UK time so just under an hour and we're going to go through these and then we're going to go have a play for them and uh, see if we can spin a few on the live stream so we will have more content coming but we are going to kick off with the player of the week here so on first look lads I don't think that there's a lot to you know obviously you're going to have Messi here as a 96 you're going to have the Brian and the Ligt. they're going to be the two main ones but this guy is a monster lads as a like he is just so good in the game, we will get to him, Luis Alberto, Chukwesi, Molina, there's some very good players in here, now, depending on whether you're jumping into football right now, or whether you've been playing for a while, I do still think that, you know, that, like, everyone should probably have Messi by now, this version of Messi, in my opinion, is quite decent, he does have double touch, one touch pass, true pass, and he is a deep line forward, which is very, very nice, we do have a lot of different versions of Messi out there, but I think that this version of him is extremely good, you've got the acceleration, you've got the ball control, you've got the passing, you've got the finishing, this is an incredible center forward Messi, the only thing is, right, you're not going to be able to play Messi by himself up front, such as Romario, he doesn't have that directness um, for some reason, now this version of him I think is going to be a little bit more direct than we've ever had, because he is going to drop deep with the deep line forward to collect the ball, um, but yeah, I definitely think, you know, 90 balance, 93 ball control, 90 tight possession, 93 finishing. And of course, we also have the 88 acceleration. This is an insane version of Messi, especially if you have never packed another version of Messi before. Now, moving back to another center forward, we have Furahashi, who is here as well. He's got some very nice stats as well. Double touch, one touch pass, first time shot excellent stats that you could possibly want a little bit small so again you know you're not going to be pairing him up in in my opinion you're not going to be pairing him up by himself or else pairing him up pairing him up by himself pairing him up with an, a player like himself or else putting him up top by himself I don't think he can lead the line for you depending on your play style I mean if you play you know one touch pass a lot of the time or you play a little bit of meta um then yeah definitely you can play him in a, in a two-man kind of pivot um where you're kind of interlinking but i definitely think this guy is going to be better at, if he's kind of running onto balls you know like um he does have nice finishing and nice offensive awareness but the rest of his stats just aren't good enough in my opinion for you know how you want to be using him going forward that is just my opinion i think but still a lot of people will like him we've also got melina the left back um our right back sorry unwavering form as well interception first time shot fighting spirit so a bit of an unusual blend and variety of uh skills and stats i think the thing that lets this card down is his passing and tight possession obviously as a defender you want to have his defense stats high enough but i would say that this guy is more of a wing back there's a lot of the players in the game that are kind of suited as wing back this guy is one of those in my opinion as well so he's not a bad player but if you're playing a 3-5-2 you will need to have good three solid, a good three solid centre backs behind him, um, and you know you're able to get up and down. You could pair him up with uh, a couple of other players that you have there, um, that you have right back. I mean, this guy is not going to compete, in my opinion, with the upper upper right backs such as Hakimi, Cancelo, uh, any of those guys. But I definitely still think, as an offensive full back, as a wing back. He is decent. You know, the one thing I like about him is he has early crosser and pinpoint crossing, which means that with the way that the gameplay is kind of going for V2.5, they are bringing back in that target man. So you'll be able to kind of swing balls in, which is always good. We also have Chuck Wazy, who's your traditional winger. We've had lots of these. We've reviewed lots of these. Prolific winger, 91 dribbling, 88 acceleration, 82 balance is a little bit low. He doesn't have any real finishing. Tight possession at 80 is a little bit bad. Um, but he does have a lot of shooting stats and shooting skills, which I do like because he obviously has double touch. He has long range curler, dip and shot, long range shooting. And the fact that you can add player skills to these cards now, which we'll have a video on as well, it does mean that you can kind of turn any player into a bit of a monster, right? Such as, you know, if you were to throw uh, on Molina, if you were to throw a blocker on Molina, if you wanted to do that. Luis Alberto, this guy, 30 years old. Lazio very very good player unwavering we've had him as a hidden gem we've had him as a player of the week before we've had him on another pack this guy has everything you could possibly want not as a CMF but as an AMF right the biggest problem when you've got an AMF that has low uh, acceleration is you need to be able to play him exactly 
as he is and what he says he does on the tin. And that is either a whole player or an orchestrator, a classic number 10, right? This guy's got 93 low pass, 93 dribbling, 87 tight possession, extremely good. Balance and stamina are also very good as well. But this guy, what I like about this card is the 77 finishing because you've also got long range uh, shooting, but then you've also got every dribble stat and pass stat that you could possibly want. One touch pass, huge. He doesn't have low lofted pass, but he do doesn't really need that. That's more for kind of spreading the ball out wide, in my opinion, with stun and pass. True passing is huge. Weighted pass is massive for this card. And then you've got double touch, Marseille turn, soul control, and heel trick, which are, you know, double touch and heel trick. If you've got a player with those two, you can beat any defender with those little tricks and flicks. We've already covered Messi, De Bruyne. So De Bruyne is an interesting one, lads. He doesn't have the engine um, as, you know, other players have if you're going to be playing him as a CMF. And that's why I think AMF is his best role. And that's where he should be playing at all times. Similar to what I just said about Luis Alberto. This guy is all about getting the ball in those positions and being able to just do as much as you possibly can in those positions as quickly as you can, right? He doesn't have speed or acceleration compared to other players that you might play in an AMF role. So you do have to kind of pick and choose where you're going to be putting him, right? I love the fact that he has every pass skill. He doesn't have double touch, but you could give him that with the skills. Uh, trainers, if you were lucky enough to get double touch with him, it will kind of change this card. But he has long range shooting and curler. He also has one touch pass, true pass and weighted pass and low lofted pass with pinpoint crossing and outside curler. He also has early crosser and long ball expert. What do these both do in a whole player attack and midfielder? Well, it just means that you can spread the ball out, but it also means that you don't have to be on the wing to give a cheeky little chip up from, you know, attacking midfielder over the top kind of animation uh, style um, that you can just drop the ball in onto the top of your head of your target man center forward. So I actually like the Brenner. I'd love to spin this guy and give him a good test, especially with the way the shooting is with the stunning shots. Once it's on target and you, you know, get the power right and get a bit of space, you could be banging a lot of goals in with him. The Ligt, we've talked about him before. One of the most dominant players. I don't think this is the best version of him that they have released, but he does have some incredible player skills. Every defensive player skill that you could possibly want. Man marking, interception, blocker, aerial superiority, acrobatic clearance and fighting spirit. I mean, what else could you want? I mean, sliding tackle maybe, but you can give him a couple of other player skills there. He also has one touch pass and weighted pass. So you can play a little bit of football with this version of him. He is a build-up center back, which is which is big. Um, jumping for a 188 centimeter uh, defender at 90 is huge. Physical contact is huge. Heading at 88 is huge. But even on the ground, this guy is going to be a bit of a baller compared to some of the other center backs that you might have been used to using. Because at the end of the day, right... When you get the ball with your center backs, you're going to be booting it. You're going to be kicking it as you know as soon as you can. But this guy can actually play out a bit and run forward. So if you're playing a five at the back or a three at the back, I always recommend that you have one center back that's a build up that can actually play a bit of ball and not just you know be a destroyer or something like that. So I do like this card, long ball expert as well. I mean, you're not going to be taking many shots at him, but that will be good if you are you know bringing the ball forward just to kind of keep your opponent honest. We also have Eze here. This guy is down as a center midfielder. One of the best wingers in the game. I would say one of the most, you know, the cheapest kind of hidden gems in the game that can do a job for you when you train him up max. And you don't need to train this guy up at all. I've been banging on, lads, for months about, you know, having a look at the holy trinity of stats for wing players. And it's acceleration, balance, and dribbling and tight possession now comes into it. Dribbling was always more important than tight possession. But I think now, with the inclusion of the momentum dribbling and how they've defined dribbling, Tie possession is the big one where it's at, right? This guy has got not only three of those, but he's got four of those main stats for a winger, right? So forget that he's a CMF. I would play him as a left midfielder whole player. And I genuinely think this guy could be one of the best players in V2.5. He is unbelievable, right? You know, he has double touch. He has first time shot. He has outside curler. He has pinpoint crossing. He doesn't have early crosser but that's not a big issue because obviously if we're going to be giving him a couple of player skills here we can give him a couple of shooting stats which with the 81 shooting you're going to be able to dominate by like pretty much playing him as Neymar cutting in you have outside curler you have acrobatic finishing this guy is going to get a lot of rebounds if you play him left mid and especially the fact that he doesn't have any defensive stats so I you know I would not play him as a CMF 
But those stats that you have there are insane. We also have De Lorenzo. We featured him quite recently, so I won't spend too much time on him. You know, add blocker to this card in the player skills if you're lucky enough to do that. And he will be one of the best right backs in the game. We already featured a right back a second ago. And this guy, I think, is better than Molina. So, you know, you've got more defense. You've got more everything going for you. Similar stamina, similar speed and acceleration um, in how they handle there's no real difference, lads, in my opinion, between a player that's got 82, 83 acceleration and like 86, 87, especially for a defender, because the players will be able to catch up with whoever anyway. I do like the fact that this guy does have um, nice aggression and tackling, though, and that does make a difference when you're comparing him to Molina. We also have Burghouse. This guy is on A rating, as is all the player of the weeks. And this guy was one of my favorite players to use at the start of the game and in eFootball 22 and in Pez 22. My alarm's going off. Uh, soul control, long range curler, chip shot control, dip and shot, long range shooting. So you know what you're going to be doing with this guy, lads, as a winger. This is a cut in and shoot winger. You know, he does have pace, but not blistering pace, but he has one touch pass, true passing and pinpoint crossing. He also has early crosser, which is huge. This guy is a different right wing experience than the likes of Dembele or Neymar, right? While Neymar is going to be all about curled shots and beating players with pace and, you know, skill, this guy is very direct. He's kind of like Son or Mbappe, obviously without the blistering pace of Mbappe, but you are going to be cutting in and just taking shots across, you know, passing the ball across the box. And I do really like him. If you do spin him, definitely, um, you know, give him a go. And then last but not least, we do have a Skorups Skorupski. The goalkeeper, and uh, yeah, I mean, not to spend too much time on him. Yes, he does have inconsistent form, so that's going to put off a lot of people, and he doesn't have a low punt and long throw, which is the killer for this card, comparing him to even standard version goalkeepers. And then you throw in the fact that he has only got 85 goalkeeper reflexes and 79 catching, and the fact that he has 78 goalkeeper reach. So, yeah, quite the poor one. So that's probably the player I'll get when I, when I do spin, but yeah. Look, lads, it is what it is. There's some good cards here, definitely. I, I like the fact that these two boys are very unique. Um, I also like Burkhaus and I like the Lorenzo, the Licht, Alberta, Messi and De Bruyne. I genuinely do think that this Messi is an, a, a really good version of Messi. If, you've never, if you don't have any other version of him and compare him to the standard version, this is an insane card, especially the fact that he's down as a deep line forward, as a center forward, and he can play right wing, and he can play SS, and he can play AMF. I mean, you put this guy as an AMF, and you've got one of the, probably the best AMFs that you could possibly ever get. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll be live streaming in a bit, just under an hour, and we will talk to you then. Peace. Let me know if you spin or skip.